Welcome in. Time for some 814 Eats. Joining me now is Chef Terry from the Hi, US. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Terry from the U.S. Hotel Tavern. Thanks for coming on the show. Oh, thanks for having me. I'm very excited <laughs> because I do love mushrooms. I've never had drunken mushrooms, but it sounds right up my alley. Yeah. <laughs> so what do we got going on here? Yeah, this is an uh, appetizer, and we serve it at the U.S. Hotel. And it's also good, like, if you're having a football game or whatnot, to uh, serve drunken mushrooms. You serve it. I have some sliced baguettes over here. Mm. And um, I, ahead of time, I sweated the mushrooms. Um, I usually don't add oil because it adds pounds, you know. Oh, okay. So I sweat <laughs> my mushrooms. Yes, and, and what type of mushrooms are in there? Terry? There's cremini and a traditional button mushroom. Oh, yeah. very nice. And um, I add garlic. Of course, the more garlic, the better. <laughs> are you Italian? <laughs> no. When I was younger, I used to get perms, and people thought I was Italian. <laughs> but that must I'm have been the, the German craze. and Welsh. <laughs> oh, it looks beautiful, and it really does smell so good. It's now, funny. if people aren't big drinkers, should they be worried that it's called drunken mushrooms? Um, that's the key to the dish: is you want to get them drunk in alcohol. Oh, the mushrooms. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but then does it does it kind of burn off a little, or are we taking yeah, a it, lot of the brandy? It, it, it will burn off a little, but you want some of it to stay in there for the flavor. Oh, okay. And what type of brandy did you add? This is a um, Christian Brothers brandy. Mm. I didn't I didn't want to do real brandy. I wanted to do a little nicer since we're gonna have a little toast. <laughs> yes, we do. As I fling brandy <laughs> across the table. This is a, a fun dish to make, and would you say relatively easy? Yeah, it's a very easy, and it doesn't take a lot of products. Now, this is a gravy mix. You can get them at the store. This one I got at um, our purveyor. Okay. And you just dust a little across the top. Nice. And you work that in. What you want to do is have it thickened because then we're going to add heavy cream to it Ooh. and that will thin it out a little. Now that sounds right up my alley, that part. <laughs> Adding the cream. Uh, it's So I love a good cream of mushroom soup, so this is kind of taking those flavors oh, and yeah. just adding even more mushrooms. Yes. And then with the baguette, I can only imagine. Yes, if you're ever at the U.S. Hotel, try our mushroom soup. It's we'll um, have to. And see how it's thicker, almost to the point of being a little pasty, because then you're going to add heavy cream. Mm. And you want to add enough, and previous I should have added the thyme. Okay. It's a key ingredient. It's okay. You can add the thyme <laughs> at any time. <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> and then you want to mix that in. Ooh. It truly looks amazing, and it smells amazing. I know yeah. we always joke about smell of vision yeah. but you really can While smell While I'm doing it. that, do you want to get the... Oh, the finished product? The finished product out of the sure. oven. Sure. I'm going to add Let's a little a bit look. more heavy cream to oh. this. Okay. I got the finished product. Look at me. I got to close that, though. Here we go. I'll get that. I'm going <laughs> to shut the burner off. Beautiful. So we do end up putting it into the, the oven? Um, just to keep it warm. Okay. A lot of times if you have like a slow cooker, you could do it in that to keep it warm. Or some people, <laughs> professional people, use chafers. Oh. And then you always want to... Look at that. Look, it's like a wonderful, delicious dip of yeah, mushrooms really and nice. cream. Oh. Do you yes, want to try please. It? I definitely do want to take a taste. Uh, but Chef Terry, we also did want to do a toast as well. Yes. And we can you do brought that. the Perfect. brandy. So congratulations on your very first grandbaby. Yes. Here's to Kendrick Grayson. Oh, I love him. He's so sweet. That's so sweet. And he was just born almost a month ago August tomorrow. The 8th. Yes. Congratulations, Chef Thank Terry. You. And what do you call yourself? Chef Pappy. Chef Pappy. <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> very sweet. We'll have a little taste of this. Oh, very nice. Very nice. And then 
I, if you don't it mind, I'll nice. just have a little taste of this. Chef Terry, please tell people how they can check out your drunken mushrooms and all your other wonderful pastries and, and You can get the recipe online and the U.S. Hotel is located at 401 South Juniata Street and we're always happy to have you visit. <laughs> we're always happy to show up. Okay, yes. here we go. I hope it's not too hot. Let's see. Mmm. Is it yummy? Terry, it's so good. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> not too much brandy at all. Yeah, Just I do enough. a lot of cooking yeah. for the Bedford Chamber, and Kelly Goodman loves my drunken mushrooms. <laughs> well, they are excellent. So thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. And we will have the recipe on we'recentralpa.com. Okay. Congrats, Chef Pappy. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be back He's after, a after a short break. Stay with us.